The kill was quick, but still brutal. Three blasts from a 50 caliber rifle and several harpoon strikes taking this massive giant of the sea down in less than 15 minutes. The whale fights its hunters, thrashing about with its tail, but soon it's spouting blood and the whale no longer has the strength to dive beneath the water's surface for safety. The battle is over. The McCall whaling team celebrates a return to its ancient heritage, killing the tribe's first whale in more than seven decades. They say a traditional prayer, thanking the whale for sacrificing itself. Then, whalers call home on their cell phones. A jubilant whale team captain, Wayne Johnson, savors his place in Macaw history. What does this mean to the tribe? Victory, he says. Victory for this tribe that has fought so hard to maintain its treaty rights and a devastating defeat for anti-whaling activists who fought for eight months to protect these magnificent creatures. We made history today. And uh, the community members are really happy that uh, we're able to follow our traditions, culture, and it's alive and well. Members of the Quileute tribe paddle out to meet the whalers. The gray has been towed around Cape Flattery and Indonesia Bay by a Macaw-owned commercial fishing boat. On shore, there is joy and pride. Oh, I said it's a whale of a day, <laughs> and I'm just happy to be part of it all. It means after everything everybody tried, they couldn't take it away. We're still Macaw, we still have our heritage. But there is a share of tension, too. At one point, whale watching crews from Vancouver Island converge on the marina, nudging into docks, trading insults. The whole world's disgusted in what you've done. This isn't disgusting. This isn't disgusting what you're doing here. He's so proud. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Close into shore, the whale is transferred to the carved cedar canoe used in the hunt and dragged onto the beach. In the harbor, aboard the flagship of the protest fleet, the crew stands stunned as a siren blares. And it's a, a mourning for the death of this, uh, this magnificent animal. But on shore, the celebration continues. Hunters joyous with their victory joyous with a return to the hunt after more than 70 years. The butchering begins immediately. Pieces of chewy blubber passed out to all who want to share in a new taste of the old days. Now it's a reality. These people really are whalers. And, and not only that, they're heroes.